Hello everyone, I'm Toriar and welcome back to Let's Play EU4 as uh, Manchu. We're beating up Ming, we're actually winning. And we've taken Beijing, and we have a ticking war score and lots of battles. Seems nice. I mean, of course we can't take everything we want just yet. Because we want Mandate of Heaven as well. But I could just take the provinces, and that would also be quite amazing. But, let's do everything. So, oh, you like me, and you're at war with Ming, too. Cool. They're moving to Beijing, but Beijing is flat, ter is flat terrain. We have advantage in flat terrain. Not in the D&D &D sense, but still. We have an advantage in flat terrain. Oh, and we have too few infantry units, unfortunately. Let's let them replenish. Wait a minute. I need to consolidate non-infantry troops. Non-infantry and non-banner troops. So basically we need to consolidate our cavalry. And that doesn't really help. Well, that's fine. And we have another banner we could rise, raise. Yeah, let's do it. Increases our corruption by quite a lot. But that's fine. We'll, we'll be taking a lot of loans, unfortunately, but <clears throat> when we take over Beijing, and we will be getting a lot of money from it, uh, we're going to debase our currency for, for a while, just enough to pay off the loans. And also, we need to become the Qing Dynasty. And I need to be touching Mongolia. Can I take these provinces as well, in this peace deal? I could... I could... This is a hundred. Not likely to happen, because we'd need to control some force as well. Some more force, at least. And that means attrition, and all that. Okay, where are you going to? We seem to be faster than they are. But if I attack you here, I'll be fighting two of your armies. Can I deal with that? My guys haven't recovered fully yet. I have less troops. Military is level 4, just as mine. Let's go here for now. And you're just sitting here, both of you. Okay, let's wait for them to leave. 26th, 22nd. One, two, three, four, five. Now they will leave on the 26th. On the 27th, we arrive and we destroy the smaller army. While the bigger one leaves them behind. Let's go. Ograt and Ming are no longer at war. Okay, they have a lot of reinforcements coming. They have a lot. A lot of reinforcements coming. Oh, come on. How many more are you? Alright. That worked out nicely. My work exhaustion is too high. Alright, I'm gonna deal with that immediately. Where are, guys, where are you guys going? Also, let me have a look at the decisions. Chain Dynasty, what would happen? Do I get scores? No. Um, changes rank to empire, technology changes to Chinese, Confucian becomes a new. So I am no longer a horde, or am I still the horde if I do this? No, despotic monarchy. Oh, cool! Should I chase them down? Doesn't seem possible to catch them, but we can try. You're going to... Fengyang, sure, let's try it. What is this? This is flat terrain. Yes, I'll renew all taxes. Yes, I'll just take the fort instead. Oh, right, and you can join. I need more infantry. I need to consolidate my cavalry again. Okay. Doesn't, didn't really work. 
We are under attack by a small army. And we're no longer under attack by a small army. I need to recover infantry because this army can't really fight well. On its own. Beijing. Well, I wonder how much you're willing to accept. Who? Oh, you're willing to accept far more than I thought you are. Well, that's something. I mean, I'd like to go all the way, though, so let's keep trying. Let's keep trying. Now, taking force will be problematic. I could just, uh, you know, carpet siege the area a bit and hunt their armies like we did up until now. But, mm, where's Ming? Yeah, they don't really have manpower. Maybe I should. Well, my army stays here. I should do a bit of carpet sieging. Let's see. I guess I could split you. Or just detach the cavalry. Half of the cavalry. Detach half of the cavalry and split it properly. Alright. That'll work. And I can split you again. And you. I could split all of them. And they could start looting. And sieging. Can't go here, but can go here. Can go here. I just send two to each of them because they're not full strength. But they should be able to run away if a Ming army comes. Come on, get me more territory. Also, we need to watch Beijing, because if re they retake it, well, that's the war goal. Also, I'm going to cancel the maintenance of this fort for now. They can't really get there. Let's just watch this closely. This is probably the most important war of the campaign. So we have to be cautious. If any Ming armies come running, we, you know, have to act. All right. You're done. Where else could I go? I could go here. This is this should be relatively safe. Of course I might be wrong. So terribly, terribly wrong. Ah, there's an army. It's very likely that they're going to try and take Beijing. But Beijing mm, I'd like to finish taking this before I oops, you wait, 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 wait. in the area. If they try to siege Beijing, they can't have cannons or anything like that. I could snipe this army, I could destroy it. But I should probably be sieging some stuff, so... They're going to try and take Beijing. They can't succeed. But I can just wait for them to, you know... Do some damage here while I take the fort, and then we reconsolidate our armies, move north, and destroy them. While they're trying to siege Beijing. We can't let them take it, but we can let them try to take it for a while. Okay, are you guys looting? Yeah, you are. Nicely done. Get me all that cash. Right. I guess I could move here, just to get some more vision in the area. Okay. I... I can afford to wait a little longer. Because it's minus 42%. Minus... Uh, okay, they have minus 42 and I have 21. As long as they have high negatives, which they do, we're more or less all right. Okay, this army is moving south. It's moving more south. Let's uh, get out of its way, shall we? And it stopped. Blockade, do we care? Not really. As long as they don't start deploying troops here, we're fine. 
Come on, Ming. Alright, we got the fort. Now, time to reconsolidate the armies and destroy the enemy. Oh, you want to meet me in battle here? Crap, some of them got locked in already. Well, I guess I can get there in time, probably. And yeah, they changed their mind. Are you stupid? They are attacking my wonderfully powerful army head on. And they're trying to offer me peace. Can I take Mandate of Heaven? What if I don't take these? How much are you going to accept? You're going to accept quite a lot. We're not... I mean, we need these and the Mandate of Heaven. So let's beat them again. And again. And again. As long as we can. And we still can. Come on, before the reinforcements come. Nope, that didn't work out. But we still won. Well, you're moving up north. Oh, 65%. That's better. But not good enough. Or, or I could just take, you know, leave the Mandate of Heaven alone and just take lots and lots of territory. Nah. We need the Mandate of Heaven. Storming. Uh, gives the following benefits. Bonuses for high mandate, use meritocracy mechanics, can enact centralization decisions, permanent claims on China, causes belly to unite China, can enforce tributary on neighbors. Stability, tributaries, prosperity, devastation, non-tributaries. So our mandate would be pretty low, because we, you know, we don't own all of China. Maybe we would be better off not taking the mandate from them just yet. Still, I want them to be willing to accept anything I want. I might just take enough money to pay off all my loans. Let's go and take Datong. And uh, neighboring provinces as well. That is another fort that we want. It will be slightly problematic, because this is mountains, and if we attack, get attacked here while we're trying to take it, it will be very dangerous. So I need a scout that will tell me that the enemy is coming. I don't know why the AI is prioritizing reinforcing forces. Alright, I guess I can do without a scout, maybe. Yeah, this is dangerous, I should be somewhere else. Is this planes? Yes, this is planes. I should be here instead. Let's go there instead. If I get attacked here, I'm in trouble. And if I get attacked here, eh, whatever. Alright. We're beating them up nicely. So, what if I forgot the mandate and just took whatever I can? For example, took Datong so that I can attack Mongolia from the south before dealing with uh, Korchin. Maybe taking some uh, coastline, because that's good trade. And we're already over the limit. Yeah, probably not the best choice. I certainly need all of this. We can fortify Beijing, and they could never get there. And claiming Mandate of Heaven seems very attractive. Let's do it. Oh, right. I guess uh, I'll go here to Wu Chang. And yes, we're taking almost infinite loans. But that will pay off eventually. Come on. Claims fabricated Korea. Well, I'm not, not in the greatest of uh, shapes to fight Korea, for example. We're kind of busy down here. Right, mm, I guess what I can do is do some looting and stuff. And I guess I could use my infantry this time. Because they will have an opportunity to reinforce when this is happening. Or not. I don't want to go too far. 
to stay close to our main army. Annoying. <laughs> ah, the little things in life. Yeah, make sure to watch out for any Manchu armies that come our way. So that we can run away. Or consolidate our troops and kill them. Let's take annoying. Okay, still doing well. And I'll leave them here to reinforce for a bit and also... Oh, we, we got called for peace already. How desperate are you for peace? Not desperate enough. Not desperate enough. I need an, a fort or two more. Ming. Ha! <laughs> Pathetic army. Come on, come on. Can you take this? Well, you're still looting, so I guess you can keep looting. Let's take bits and pieces from those armies and send them to do this job. And you, and you. Can such a small army still loot? Yes, yes, they can. Right? Do the looting thing. Give me money. I guess I could... I mean, I don't need all these troops here. I could send half of them away to do more and more looting, just as long as they stay within a few provinces from uh, the main army. Let's try it. This is all not looted yet, as far as I know. I can also send you over here and help these guys go here and so on. Just need to be cautious and... and here's a Ming army. Okay, you go here instead. Local chiefs complain. Army tradition for tribes loyalty or the other way around. How loyal are they? Because army tradition is quite useful to us right now. Mm, I guess I can lose some loyalty. It's fine. Right, we've renewed the loan. Unfortunate, yet necessary. And another loan. And we are getting... rest. Let's reduce war exhaustion to deal with that. Alright. Need the fort, and then we'll go here. Actually, I could be going here right now. Let's work on that. Yeah, why not? They are within walking distance of the main army, as long as we are cautious and send reinforcements if necessary, we should be okay. And when I take these two forts, I should have enough war score to take whatever I want. Remember, I do get a ticking war score from controlling their capital. Okay, oh, they will give me Mandate of Heaven now. Ah, alright, so let's get, let's get to 100 war score. I'd want these, because I want to fight Mongolia. Although I could fight Cochin now, so this is not necessary. Mm, let's see, Beijing will be my new capital, so what is in this state? Chenge, so this place, and this place. So I need this one. And I probably wouldn't be raising it either. I would take this one as well. Now, do I want the neighboring state as well? Not really. But I could take some of the coast. Badoing. Or we could take this one. For now, let's get enough war score. Because we can get what we want, but we can still get more. So let's try to get more. Why not get more? Okay, there's a Ming army. They might be trying to attack us, so let's be cautious. Let's be cautious and get you a general just in case. You can have the king with a five shock, which is still very good. If we are about to get a battle that would ruin us, I can always quickly send a peace deal right before they engage in, in combat. 35% chance here. Maybe they're going after this army instead. Just keep these guys in between 
to be able to reinforce. Trade League of Novgorod has disbanded. Oh, I can see that actually. Interesting. Come on, Ming, give up. All right. Um, I guess it's kind of time to end the episode, but we're about to end the war, so maybe I'll prolong it a bit. Age of Discovery. Can I get any of these? Not yet. I guess I could humiliate a rival a bit later. I mean, these are very nice bonuses. I'm just busy with other stuff. Right. 49%. Come on. Just a bit longer. I want them to be willing to give me whatever I want. Mission. New mission. Conquer something. No. How's war exhaustion? Slightly problematic. Finances? Very problematic. But we're getting the biggest... Mm, I mean, we're beating the biggest grand superpower in the world. Lose money. I'll lose prestige. Do I care for prestige? No. Not right now. We're about to get the Mandate of Heaven. Which is worth quite a lot more than mere prestige. Come on, 49. How long will this take? I mean, I could probably just sign a piece of now, but it seems like such a waste. <gasps> war reparations. This is so much money. Yes, I need war reparations. Why didn't I think of it earlier? And these two. This is the piece deal I want. Mandate of Heaven, war reparations, and these. Oh, good thing I thought of it now. Cochin. Declared war in Maine to take mandate of... I want that province. No, you can have it. I need a quick mercenary army. I need to take this before they can. And Cochin can't manage, but still. I need to quickly, quickly take that province from them. Before Cochin can. Here's the army. Yes, I know you want peace, Ming. Oh shit. Run away. Should I sign the peace deal now? No, you're not. You're not ready to give me what I want. Okay, so if Cochin gets this, whatever. You're going to wipe my mercenaries, I don't really care. You got a little bit of war score for it. Are you really focusing on Cochin? Yay, we got another fort. 80% war score. Willing to give me war reparations. Not giving not willing to give me everything yet. Terrain. Hills, not too great. Flat terrain. Wonderful. We go this way. And you go along with them. Oh you can't go along with them. Maybe you can, but hmm. Right, one more siege and everything's ours. Everything. But that will have to wait until the next episode because this uh, is being. Uh, this is taking a bit longer than I expected. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.